USDCHF. Um, if you remember from, from my last uh, midweek analysis video, I mentioned that uh, from technical analysis view or from technical view, USDCHF should actually go up. Uh, but from realistic view, because of the uh, threatening uh, and the possible war between Iran and USA, I mentioned that the USDCHF is falling down. However, now uh, the fear is gone. I believe uh, the news about the war has finished and no more things uh, are coming, if I'm not mistaken, hopefully. Uh, so therefore, we need to go back to the old analysis for the USDCHF that it is gonna uh, go up. However, um, I mentioned also that this level is where we can expect for the USDCHF to reverse. Uh, it went for almost 25 pips maybe. Yeah, 27 pips against the direction and then it fell down in just uh, this Friday uh, before close of the closure of the candles. Uh, sorry, before the closure of the market and we can see it completed the form. It just made the full breakout from this previous support level. Therefore, What's we, what are we going to expect from the USDCHF is gonna reverse for a little bit uh, until hitting this previous support level and then it's gonna go up however just don't rush let's confirm where the USDCHF is gonna make the bullish reversal we need to look to the left to find the strong support level and if I'm not mistaken uh, we can see already there is a bullish reversal or sorry a bullish reversal happened right here and the market closed like that reverse hammer as of and the pin bar as well therefore the market is gonna fall down and let's see where is the support level we can look uh, for it to start buying the USDCHF if I'm not mistaken it is right here on this level exactly like that uh, let me just look at the left to find any other strong support level right here yes we can see indeed we had here a strong support and right here and right here as well uh, let's continue looking to the left always when you want to place buy order especially for the long term or long uh, time trades always look for the past to find if this support level you are buying your pair, the pair on was acting very strong as a support or aka a key support level like this one here this is fantastic this is a clear key support level therefore we can rely on this level to start buying the currency uh, it was also very strong as a resistance level as well and um, let's see we can see yeah perfectly look at that in the past also it was playing major role as a support so going back to the present uh, I'm expecting as I said to you uh, this level is gonna be strong to start buying the USDCHF let me just write the level for you 0 0.9 6935 and again oh sorry i forgot to mention that this is for the buy by the currency uh, i just want to mention again that uh, it's all about political news and economic news uh, the last week analysis was really hard it was not easy at all especially with all this news about the potential war and it really affected the dollar so badly and therefore we are now back in the game and giving the analysis based on technical view and that's why that's why I changed my analysis from the last week uh, I don't think USDCHF is going down at all it's gonna go up now the question is how far is it going up um, we need to find a strong resistance uh, in the past to rely on it if I'm not mistaken this is the level where we want to close our trade with a profit uh, on the level 0 0.96640 and if that happened we can look for almost 172 pips of profit and again i want to mention to you that if you see the reversal happened here and you buy the pair the, the currency expect for the pair to continue going more up reversing on this resistance level it's gonna fall back for the pullback and then it's gonna reverse on the support level and then is gonna hit our target on the level 0 0.98640 and hopefully this is this is what will gonna happen in the end uh, I hope this will be a profitable week for everyone and I would like to thank you for watching